Federal regulators continue to investigate a uranium leak at a nuclear fuel plant here in Columbia. Good evening and thanks for being with us now. I'm J.R. Barry. And I'm Darcy Strickland. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission said the material leaked through a three-inch hole in the concrete floor where acid is used at the Westinghouse plant on Bluff Road. But state health officials say they don't think the material has threatened water supplies, but they're still waiting on tests to confirm that. The leak happened back on July 10th, but was just made public yesterday. Uranium is used to make the fuel rods for nuclear power plants. Well, after all of this, News 19's Jacob Reynolds gives us a look at the element itself. He joins us in studio to explain uranium. Jacob? Well, J.R. Darcy, we really wanted to give the public a kind of Uranium 101 because we had a lot of the same questions you did. What's it used for? How is it made? And how dangerous is it? According to Roger Hanna with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control, uranium is a natural element that has a level of radiation less than 1%. In fact, DHEC says you might have come across it naturally already in groundwater or rocks, and Hanna agreed. I, I would say it's likely that most people would be exposed to some uranium at some point in their life, yes. Isotope uranium-235 is the radioactive part of the element, but what's it used for commercially? There may be some research applications, and I know that depleted uranium uh, that has gone through the process is sometimes used for military purposes for ammunition and things, but I, I'm not aware of any widespread use of uranium other than nuclear fuel. Hannah explained uranium is usually mined, then sent to an enrichment facility where the radioactive isotope grows from less than 1% to 3 to 5%. From there, it goes to a plant like Westinghouse to be fused to ceramic pellets, which are then inserted into fuel rods. Last, it goes to nuclear power plants for fuel to make electricity through steam. In newly made fuel rods, Hannah says uranium is safe, but overexposure or repeated exposure to uranium and other forms, like any other radioactive material, can cause cancers, leukemia, and other medical issues. But he told WLTX that's not the case with Westinghouse. We don't have any information that would indicate that uh, workers were exposed or that this poses any threat to the environment or to any members of the public living nearby the facility. And commercial uranium is also monitored by the government. It's one of the reasons that Nuclear Regula Regulatory Commission exists. And Hannah told me the NRC has inspectors on site at every nuclear plant and does periodic inspections at fuel rod manufacturing facilities like Westinghouse. Jacob, thank you so much. The NRC says uranium fuel rods are dangerous to humans after they've been used in a reactor. Again, that's why we got this information and that's why they're stored in dry cast or underwater facilities underground at nuclear sites.